yeah because uh, it's a very 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 rare that you no know, one chooses about you know, lord and uh, is related things so so let us start with bhagavad gita uh, no sloka recitation theme to okay smart work art of smart work so we'll start with prayers and then we'll continue right see so i will uh, start prayers then you just lay and you all can be in a mute <clears throat> in second so i'll start friends okay om agnana timirandasya gnana jana selakaya shri shuramalitam nena tasmay shri gurave nama namo om vishnu padaya krishna prashtaya bhutale simati bhakti veda Shimati Bhakti Vedanta Swamini Tinamine Namaste Saraswati Devi Gauravani Prasharine Nirivisesha Sunyavadi Pashati Sesitarine E Krishna Karana Sindhu Dina Bandhu Jagatpate Gopesha Gopika Kanta Radha Kanta Namosate Tapta Kanchana Gaurangi Radhe Vrunta Vani Swari Ushabanu Shriti Devi Pranamami Hari Pri. So you all can chant uh, Jai Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Advaita Gadadara Sri Vasadi Gaurabhakta Vrinda. So we will chant Hare Krishna Mantra uh, 27 times together. Okay, I will start. So you all can recite along with me. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. 
हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 रामा हरे रामा राम राम हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 रामा हरे रामा राम राम हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 रामा हरे रामा राम राम हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 रामा हरे रामा राम राम हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 रामा हरे रामा राम राम हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 रामा हरे रामा राम राम हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 रामा हरे रामा राम राम हरे हरे सो सो विल स्टार्ट विथ दिस एज this because we are chanted hari krishna mantra because it's a very auspicious anything you start in the like uh, day to day life or anything okay not only auspicious it gives so powerful you know mind can like control during class also one session so you can be focused more so you are starting with the prayers and uh, we are offering prayers to our gurus and uh, our paramparas okay so that whatever knowledge we get it and uh, whatever we are delivering to you all it's all coming from our acharyas then so let us start with the uh, sessions so i hope you all know bhagavad gita like uh, why arjuna like turned up to krishna so why is asking and what he, why is confused in the battlefield of kurukshetra so anyone would like to answer because everyone has confusion in life right so so even who is a student is confused about studies right what to study when to study how to study so way to study which school good to go and employees they also confusion so how to get jobs so on a way to work and everyone has confusion in life and so similarly arjuna had confusion and uh, then how did he it turned up to krishna and uh, so like so why anyone would answer you can animate right anyone or no you can animate and you are tell answers okay let us see so many people like many is yes, this yes sorry sir it's because uh, when arjuna was in the battle field he needed to fight with his own cousins and grandfathers he needed to fight with his own uh, family members which is why he was confused whether to fight or not correct na no? uh, yeah so there he is seeing his own relatives and that is uh, krishna is telling it is a dharma it is not dharma they are following so this is is confused us krishna is telling to fight and kill but he is telling he they are all my relatives right so similarly uh, krishna like arjuna is a very intelligent person instead of confusion so much anxiety taking he just turned to krishna right krishna you are there to guide because so in our schools also when you get some subjects like you are confused uh, so if you ask your friend your your friend will tell oh no i don't know so this i don't know you get the right but if, when you go and ask your master like sir sir he will tell you clear and he will solve also similarly krishna is a master he is the spiritual master for all he can solve anything he is a supreme personality of god right so he can answer anything similarly you all intelligent you turned up to this uh, no bhagavad gita classes and chosen very right choice right yeah so and even i have seen many like whenever i go schools and they tell sir so we read bhagavad gita we don't understand again why to read right so even you might have also like i have attended this session i have like learned shlokas and i have learned like you know wisdom tells other things so but i don't understand and sometimes you tell bhagavad gita when i close it i i'm like what is this i studied in the like yesterday or just before one hour so in this regard let me tell one story okay you will all understand how it is affecting on our lives and uh, how it is changing our lives also okay so uh, there is like a 
an old farmer in the village name okay so he stays in a near farming okay and uh, he along with him he has a grandson okay where he accompanies and he stays so grandpa every day he used easily get up early morning and uh, he starts like uh, you know, putting uh, coal in the stove and he started cooking he kept along with that he in the near kitchen he start opening bhagavad gita and start reading every day he does so his grandson also tries to imitate him actually so every like you, you all know right like when your grandfather does something you know you are warmer so you try to imitate him oh, because it is a you no know, relationship with them similarly his, his grandson also is trying to imitate his grandfather so so he wanted to try reading every day along with him so he started reading and reading but uh, he tells like uh, i don't understand why grandpa so i am not able to understand this bhagavad gita because you tries reading and i don't know how you understood uh, then he confused okay but his grandson wanted to just like you know uh, no uh, put it on you know, every day and try to read it but his grandpa told one day okay what he told let us see so grandpa told okay my dear grandson noises so let me tell you one thing so he has a, a coal basket near stove so all coals he put into the stove and he gave that uh, basket to his uh, grandson so you do one thing uh, you take this basket and uh, nearby the river is there so he go in the river and bring you uh, know water in that Uh, bucket as the basket every day okay so he goes one day and he says that uh, like uh, i'm not uh, like he is not able to because the basket has uh, will be having holes right so whenever he brings by the time he comes to home then all water will fall and uh, again he comes tells oh grandpa i'm not able to carry because it has so many holes huh? how can i carry the water and again no you should come so quickly and so fast in next time then again he went okay so again he put water in the basket again he comes back to his grandpa grandpa i again i couldn't bring any single drop so oh, he said again grandpa told no you should come so quickly when you know within seconds you should come reach to place okay is again and uh, did many times and he couldn't carry in a single drop so he finally told the grandson it is useless i don't want to do again so again he told oh it's not useless grandson you see that basket what happened okay when as when he like a grandson so that is a so basket a basket was so cleaned such a nice because it was kept you no know, coals in that basket you no know, after carrying many times water dipping in the river that basket got so clean okay it looks like a new one so what do you all understand out of this can anyone tell like what does this story represent i mean tells all of you prabhu ji i think uh, this story tells us like even like bhagavad gita even if a person recites bhagavad gita that affects him a lot that can clean his heart yes so you might not understand how it is affecting one day or today but as soon as like uh, you start reading uh, and under- understanding and similarly one day you will see changes in your life right so whenever like uh, i'll tell one small example actually so one uh, i was going to an hostel okay so i give bhagavad gita to that boy particular boy he told sir i am i don't know that english um, like little bit i know i don't understand exactly i told him like just you try reading and he started read and uh, it passed one month two months and three months and after in the fourth month he told sir it is very nice actually because he could leave many bad habits and uh, he could practice very nicely sadhana i mean getting up early and uh, chanting mantras so i asked him how did it works because you told you don't understand english so that is a holy book of bhagavad gita right because krishna represents in the he tells in the bhagavad gita everything that 
If you don't understand us, you try applying on day by day. You will give the knowledge. Matta, smuti, gnana, maponam. So he gives knowledge. Okay. You then you will understand the Bhagavad Gita. And you see the changes in your life also. Okay. And finally, that grandpa told son, that's the what happens when you read the Bhagavad Gita. See, we might not understand everything and we may not remember everything. But when you read it, okay, you will be changed inside and outside your activities, your habits, everything. Okay. So let us see. Next slide. I think you hope, uh, like I hope you all understood very nicely why we should read. Okay. So let us see. So that's the reason we have arranged this Bhagavad Gita sessions for all of you. Uh, just to try giving it and just to change, you know, in a time process, then you will more changes in side and outside. Okay. So we'll see the, the, today's theme is out of smart work, right? So how we should do the smart work. And in regards to smart work, I will just play small video so one can understand how it is. Uh, let me just, so you all can see this video. I'm playing this video. You can see how smart work works in uh, our lives. Okay. Can you all hear the sound? Can anyone confirm? No, sir. No, sir. Now? No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. We are not able to hear. Sir. You can see the video, but right? I think. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let me see this audio. Don't know, not sure why it is share already. Okay, share sound also. Okay. Now, yes, now can you hear okay. yes. You all see how smart work works. Okay. Prabhu, this uh, screen is not full screen. Huh? It is not full screen. It is showing half three fourths. Three fourths, is it? Yeah. Make okay, let's share the full screen. It is in full screen. Okay, let me stop and one second. Share. Yeah, sharing. Share the screen. Yeah, yeah, sharing. Yeah. Now? Now it's clear. Sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Once there was a woodcutter who was searching for a job. Okay. He went to carpenter and asked the job. Then I'll read and understand. Should answer later. I will ask questions. Okay. See, sometimes working hard alone is not enough to achieve the success, right? So we should also be the smart worker, right? So you have to work smartly. So woodcutter in this story is the best person for the job, but he does not. See, he is, he is very good at cutting the trees, but he doesn't know and uh, what is a smart work, okay? Particular task he does. Okay, so what you all understood, uh, can you all say one point? So why woodcutter is hard work? Why is not smart worker? So can I tell? Yeah, yeah, you can see it. Sir, he didn't sharpen the tax, right? Yeah. So he was trying to like cut. Uh, no, many many times he is trying because with, with the same axe, but uh, it was not sharpened, right? It was not sharpened. Similarly, we also try to do one task multiple times, multiple times, but we don't understand why we are doing it. 
and uh, if we do other way and how it will save our time and energy so let us see what smart work does and how we can do smart work instead of hard work in our studies and uh, in our school and any activities yeah So you all can screen see the screen, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So we'll see what is uh, what Krishna tells in Bhagavad Gita, and uh, based on the slokas. So God has given the best uh, gift as a human form of life. Okay, because we have eighty four lakhs of spaces out of. One, which is a human life, is a no, we can uh, see okay and use it as a best gift. Okay, so we can say, example, like uh, in a company, if manager is working for a particular company, okay, so if company provides a car, for what purpose they provide car? Because to use car for the companies going and coming. Right, you go home to uh, office and office too. So instead of that, if manager tries to uh, use that car for personal use, what does company does? They will take away that car, right? Similarly, so human form of life is just to like uh, be the like a best person, you know, because it's the best gift. Instead of trying the many things bad way and having the bad habits, okay. So instead of that, we can have the good habits uh, going to temple are studying about holy books and uh, with the parents you be good and okay this okay you shouldn't be uh, no uh became your parents angry at all and okay similarly some things you know you should be very good in your life okay so let us see slow cost okay so i'll see and later i will show another slide you can all sing okay along with me Yukta Hara Viharasha, Yukta Chetasha Karmasho, Yukta Sopna Abhadasya, Yoga Bhavati Dukkaha. So let us see what is this. And so we can see Yukta Hara. Yukta Hara means regulated eating. Yukta means regulated. Ahara. Ahara means eating. Viharasha, recreation. Yukta Chetasha, karma show. What is means regulated on the walks for maintenance. Karma show and main, it's a discharging duties. Yukta, Yukta means regulated. Sopna means sleep and wakefulness. Okay. Yuk, uh, yoga Bhavati Dukkaha, practice of yoga becomes one. Diminishing okay, pains. Okay, so we I will read first. Uh, Bima group can recite two times on a first line, and next, Yudhishthir group can recite along with me, and later, Arjuna group can recite. Okay, after full recitation, anyone uh, they can recite whole sloka. Okay, so uh, is a uh, Yudhishthir group re ready? Bima group ready? Yes, sir. Okay, yes. Sir. Uh, yeah, others can uh, uh, mute and let once Bhima group is done, then you can be there and I will reset okay. again. Okay. Okay. Yukta Hara Viharasha. Yukta Hara Viharasya. Yukta Hara Viharasya. Yukta Chetasya Karma Show. Yukta Chetasya Karma Show. Yukta Chetasya Karma Show. Yukta Chetasya Karma Show. Okay, next Yudhishthar Group can reset. Okay, I will reset uh, two lines and then after that Yudhishthar Group can reset. So Bhima Group can reset two lines at a time. Yukta Hara Viharasya, Yukta Chetasya Karma Shu. 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 
So next uh, uh, Yudhishthir group can unmute and reset along with me. Okay. See, it is very easy. Yukta, you separate Yukta. Ahara means eating. And Viharasha, recreation. It is very easy. Vihara, we go right outside. That is the Viharasha. Here, same Yukta is there. Chetasha is there. Karma show. Okay. So next Yudhishthir group, please reset with me. Ready with Yudhishthir group? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes. Yukta Hara Viharasha. Yukta Hara Viharasha. Yukta Hara Viharasha. Yukta Hara Viharasha. Yukta Chetasha Karma Sho. Yukta Chetasha Karma Sho. Yukta Chetasha Karma Sho. Yukta Hara Viharasya Yukta Chetasya Karmashu 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 Yeah, next uh, Arjuna group, please unmute and Reset along with me. Okay. Is the Arjuna group ready? Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. Vikta Ahara Viharasha. Vikta Ahara Viharasha. Vikta Ahara Viharasha. Yukta Cheta Shakar Mashu. Yukta Cheta Shakar Vikta Chetasya Karma Sho. Yukta Chetasya Karma Sho. Yukta Hara Viharasya. Yukta Chetasya Karma Sho. Yukta Hara Viharasya. Yukta Chetasya Karma Sho. Karma Sho. Okay. So next, Bhima Group is reset next to two lines. And then... Arshakar Prabhu, we will not get much time. So what we can do, you can decide third time three times. Each time Bhima, Arjuna and Yudhishtra one by one. Okay. So all three groups can animate once and I will decide one line, one by one line and three times we will complete. Okay. Because we are limited time. It's already 5.30. We left with 30 minutes only. We have so much to cover. Okay. Yukta Har Viharashya. All can decide. Yukta Cheta Shakarma Sho Yukta Cheta Shakarma Sho Yukta Sopna Abodasya Yukta Sopna Abodasya Yoga Bhavati Dukkaha Yoga Bhavati Dukkaha Yukta Har Viharashya Yukta Cheta Shakarma Sho Yukta Cheta Shakarma Sho Yukta Sopna Avodasya Yukta Sopna Avodasya Yoga Bhavati Dukkaha Yoga Bhavati Dukkaha Okay, I'll read full sloka once and any one of you from group you can read, okay? Yukta Hara Vyarasya Yukta Chetasya Karma Shu Yukta Sopna Bodasya Yoga Bhavati Dukkaha Okay, can anyone reset? Sir, can I reset? Sir, can I? Sir, can I reset? Sir, can I? Any two can reset. Another sloka, another two can be reset because we are two slokas. We are limited times. Okay, two can reset. Sir, can I am there? Can I? Sir, can I? Sir, can I? Sir, can I? Can I reset? Please, please. Can anyone start? Yeah. Yukta Hara. One can, yeah. Yukta Hara Viharasya. Yukta Sopchetanya Karmasu. Yukta Swapana Bodhasya. Yogo Bhavati Dukha. Aha. Okay, very nice. So can I read my text? So can I test? So can I test? Yeah, next slogan I will give. Okay, next slogan you can decide. Okay. 
now we'll see what is the uh, okay hmm. so what is the krishna tells in bhagavad gita okay so can anyone read translation sir can i can i can i can i sir can i 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 can Uh, sabhi, he one is regulated in his habits of eating sleeping rec uh, recreation and work can mitigate all material pains by practicing the yoga system oh nice so what krishna tells here so shelly one who regulated in his habits eating what are the habits he is telling krishna eating sleeping and recreation and work Or how they can mitigate all these material pains by practicing the yoga system. What is the yoga system? What is yoga system? You don't need to go Himalaya and sit and do the tapasya, right? You can do yoga system sitting in your home and practicing this. Uh, no reading Bhagavad Gita and chanting Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. So only alone Hare Krishna Maha Mantra can be controlled all these things. Okay, let us see or now further how we can use this. Okay, so it is a similar same Krishna is telling he who is regulated in his habits of eating, sleeping, recreation, and work can mitigate all material pains by practicing yoga. So let us see. You can see happy. Who is happy and controlled mind? So happy person and controlled mind uh, can always be, you know, uh, does good things. Okay. You see, if he is having exams, he can. If he is happy and controlled mind, he can focus more on the particular task. Focus will be there, right? So it helps, you know, increasing our efficiency when you are like, you know, happy or uh, if it is controlled mind. so just like you now if children are uncontrolled by his parents so can parents or children be happy no right no because i have seen one parent okay so i just been there in a shopping mall so small boy is there is a 3 years old okay so he wanted something chocolate but chocolate is not one full of box okay his parents are telling no you cannot take it okay because it spoils your health but it is no 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 i want the chocolate but his parents are no so what he laid on the floor and he rolled here and there all whole shopping mall were seeing on the his parents and the child See why is doing that thing because he is uncontrolled by his parents. Similarly, when you are not controlled, like when you don't control your mind, okay, then your mind will act like a children in the shopping mall, right? Okay. So anything. So I have seen in my job profile, like uh, during my working hours also. Yeah. So whenever I I do practice this Hare Krishna Chana Maha Mantra and go office. so others could complete that work you no know, i uh, are taking time of 10 hours but whereas i could finish that particular work in 4 hours because i practice the chanting and controlled mind because my mind is focused so if i don't control my mind if i don't focus the task it will not be completed on time and will not be able to deliver it right if your exams is tomorrow if you don't read today also then how can you pass how can you get the pass marks at least right but when you start studying from beginning you see the you, you will score very nicely yeah so let us see on uh, how we can control and i can see i will show you one video where like a uh, uh, uncontrolled sleep uh, eating and sleeping will lead to you are miserable okay let me show one video so just one minute you can see this guy is not controlled by eating and is sleeping also how does he like let's see can you all hear the sound she is uncontrolled in the eating 
so more eating will leads to sleeping you all can see how it does till you want to eat right see if you are uncontrolled in eating see how is see this is how it does like similarly if you are controlled how it works you can see see she is controlled and she is watching and yeah, what is good what is bad and she is seeing and she is observing if it is good then she is taking apart okay so when you controlled your mind and when you are controlled your activities so you can also become like this so let me edike so what do you understand all so so when you are controlled and you are uh, like uh, your uh, output also and it will be good okay let us see then how smartly we can control and uh, and watch us the after exam see many times we see tomorrow is exam your mom tells go study please study tomorrow is exam but you tell no ma is a very nice film and very nice serial right so what happens if you put your uh, exams aside and watching tv and you will be failed and you are again set in the same class right so instead of that you can control your mind and be happy and you can study well in your exams and in your school also you can present whatever you does it they all will appreciate you so let us see how pralad maras tells okay so most of you know the pralad maras and how people waste the time and life because we have discussed how human form of life is most important right so you, you see how much we spend time for what purpose okay if we lose the 65 years a person you see he put 22 years in a sleeping okay you calculate hours if we just calculate 7 into like uh, days and put calculation it will come 22 years you sleep in a 65 years then how much is left we are left with the 43 years daily routine just brushing and taking bath and uh, other day to day activities it takes 2.5 years then we left with the 40 years 40.5 years right and meals it takes 5.5 years and uh, communicating and it takes 5.5 years so you spend all these times so you see work work only takes 16 years and miscellaneous others and going shopping and uh, here and there it takes 2.5 years and personal discretion and this takes 11 years so total it comes 65 years so how much time did you spend for the good purpose where is the time to go over like uh, no temples we don't have any time to go to temple where is the time to meditate and chant like you no know, holy names and reading bhagavad gita so we say when you are in school i am small kid okay but pralad maraste komara machrite pragnya so Bhagavad, so Komara, Komara means it is just five years. From five years, if you start, your life is very good. Because see, whatever you do, like whatever you do it, okay, if you do with a knowingly, then that will lead to success and happiness. So if you don't do without like whatever activities with a knowing, then what it leads, measurable. Because Bhagavad Gita tells each and everything what you have to do, what does, like I will, in the coming slides, I will show you what is do's and do nots. Okay. So she observe the timings, how, so we say we don't have time. I'm kid after young, I am teenage. I have to enjoy, I have to go college. After teenage, I have to search for job. After job, I, I don't have time to like come because I have working hours and I have to submit a report tomorrow. And after working, we get married and I have, I have to give time for wife. I have to give for children. So after again 50 years, I have to give time for grandsons. After grandson, we, you pass away. Where is time to give? Like, you know, God, right? So we, instead of that, we, you all like took very good opportunity to start, you know, Bhagavad Gita course, which helps you, you know, from beginning and you, your life will lead very 
you know perfectly and you are happy in your uh, school or uh, you know home or wherever because you are practicing yoga i mean which is uh, you no know, important in this age okay so main reason we are practicing our activities like uh, human life minus god is the animal life because so when you don't keep in a uh, god in center or if you don't like add in your god it is like a animal life animal also does all these things animal sleep animal goes for, for like forest everything right similarly if you also do what is the difference between you and the animals right okay so let's see and uh, because we don't have time i have to rest because we have so many slides still we left it to 20 minutes so be every day you watch your like uh, activities at what time you sleep at what time you get up so what is the ideal time to sleep what is the no ideal time to get up okay so let's see see early to bed and early to uh, rise is a very good make you one healthy and wealthy and wise Why okay sir? sorry Sir, okay. I told wise. Why? No, sir, wise. Wise only. I told. Yeah, wealthy and wise. Make one health, healthy and healthy and wise. Okay. So, uh, so whenever you sleep, you know, early and you get up early. So, what will happen? Huh? And we'll see how like uh, it affects you know once uh, you know health. if we, so you know even scientist found out uh, so uh, during 9 to 12 if one sleeps uh, that equal to uh, sleeping 6 hours i mean it doubles if you sleep one hour it, it creates like two hours of sleeping so when you get up morning you will become so fresh okay because if wealth is lost nothing is lost because if uh, health is lost something is lost but if character is lost everything is lost so let us uh, study about the uh, science and uh, early morning hours how we important early morning hours and what a great person says in the world about early morning hours importance okay so we will play one video so we will watch a video why, like um, why all billionaires wake up exactly at 4 why are successful can you all hear the sound yes sir yes, sir and not a different hour what is the secret behind it well they know how their brain works and they take advantage of their brain wave states and brain chemistry the brain produces electrical patterns often referred to as waves when you're first awake your brain operates at around 10 and a half waves per second the range from 8 to 13 hertz or cycles per second is the alpha stage It's been called the gateway to the subconscious mind. But when you wake up this early, you are between theta and alpha. The mind is capable of deep and profound learning, being focused with an effortlessly calm mind. In other words, you don't have to work as hard. You are not thinking. You just relax into the moment. Another important fact known by all successful people is when you wake up, your subconscious mind is most impressionable and soaks up information like a sponge. Whatever you hear, see, or are exposed to in the first 20 minutes will affect you and set the tone for the rest of your day. This is why they meditate, listen to affirmations, and not checking their social media and emails so early. they choose consciously their tone of the day being focused and positive and not being distracted they choose to go to bed early and use the premature hours of each day in their own advantage they make up a routine of waking up before the sun starts to shine and go to sleep after the sun goes down why do they go to bed so early between 10 p.m. and 2 a.m. is where you can get the most from regenerative and deep sleep After 2 a.m., sleep lacks the quality that you need as it becomes more superficial, chronically depriving your body of the regenerative sleep which you can enjoy between 10 p.m. and 2 a.m. makes you wake up in the morning even more tired than when you went to bed. The human body is closely linked to the day and night cycle. That is why within 1 or 2 hours after sunset, your melatonin levels start to rise. This is how your body's telling you that it's time to go to bed. At midnight, 
melatonin levels reach their highest value and after this they start decreasing gradually. Ten See this all they found out in the scientific research. Okay, but you all know one thing. So they are just found in a few decades back. But these things are already mentioned in the scriptures even thousand thousand years back only. It is all it is all available in the scriptures, but they are just copying the scientists to show this one like with a more research. But it is already there. So similarly, uh, we can follow scriptures. Okay, then you will understand more clearly. Okay, so scriptures are Bhagavad Gita. So you see. 10 p.m. is when your body reacts as a result of the increment in the melatonin levels. This period of transformation in your sleep cycle brings along a more intense metabolic activity. This one is responsible for the repair and restoration of the whole body. In order for this 10 p.m. reaction to take place, your body needs to slow down, which translates into reduction of your mental and physical activity. If you're still awake, there is a phenomena that takes place at this hour called second wind. This is caused by the rise in mental activity and energy that your system has at 10 p.m. Nevertheless, you can only feel what the second wind's value is truly about if you are asleep at 10 p.m. Studies show that if you go past the 10 p.m. bedtime, you'll find it more difficult to fall asleep. Also, you won't be able to enjoy refreshing sleep, which will lead to significant work. Yeah, we can see now. So, why are successful? So, it is called Brahma Murta, the time of God. So, <clears throat> So what do you all do ne, from tomorrow? You all get up at 4 a.m. What do you all say? Do you get up at 4 a.m.? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I try to get up at 4 a.m. I'll try to get up. Yeah. See, uh, yeah, don't get up no, from tomorrow onwards. So if you are getting up, if you are getting up at 7 a.m., you try to get up at 6.30 a.m. Okay. And you so try you for one. Wake up at 4 a.m. like immediately. Ah, there that's what I'm saying, right? You can't practice you know, one day. Yeah. So I'm telling slowly you can come. You can get up at 6.30 and 6 o'clock. Yeah, similarly, you can reduce of 15 minutes or half an hour. So whatever you feel comfortable, then you get up. But night, you go uh, bed early only. So if you are going at uh, 11 or 12, you make it as a 10. If you're going at 10, you make it as 9.30. So that is the ideal time. You can get up early morning and uh, you can study books also and the exams preparation. Okay. So Brahma Murta, we call it as you no know, before sunrise of 72 minutes. Okay. So during that time, whatever activity performs, that is like uh, you no know, hundred times doing in daytime that does in the 10 minutes. Okay. In a uh, uh, that so let us see what uh, schedule we can see. And even if you are like chanting or meditation, whatever you does, that is uh, time for God in the early morning, right? So your body, mind, all will be of peaceful and you can focus more thing, right? So even studies also, they mentioned to study early morning only instead of that, you know, late uh, night or you know, daytime. Because they, that time is a Brahma, there is no bad influence during that time because Many times bad implants means there will be many like or disturbances, right? In home or in office, wherever. So, but that time nobody disturb you because everyone is their own thing. Then that is a good time. <laughs> Let us see. So, one, one who fails to plan is planning to fail. Okay. Because uh, whenever we have plans to do something, okay. If he fails, that and if his planning is to fail, okay. And yeah, we discussed that you have to plan, schedule, uh, daily activities, what you do, and when you get up and after waking up, what you like uh, do it, okay. So, as I mentioned, you don't start from tomorrow that getting up at four and you plan slowly, okay. But whatever you do, you do it the planning. If you plan it, it will be more easier than doing in the same, like suddenly, right? 
planning makes you know a perfect action so even we can regulate very nicely okay so i hope you all understand the first look of uh, regulating sleep regulating uh, no meal and uh, how can you regulate by practicing yoga correct by practicing yoga system uh. so can, can you all see the my full screen is it off screen full full screen okay so so by regulating oneself and one can practice yoga okay let us see what next work how regulation uh, no happens that uh, we will study in the next so because we wanted to regulate right how does it happens we can see next loka okay so do we all know what is this tortoise right yes, what tortoise. is special uh, what is special feature of this tortoise Sir, it walks slow. Sir, it is so slow. Shell of it. Shell. 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 so about this what krishna says and what teaches krishna by this so but you all understood right how uh, tata is and uh, regulated what is regulation as you understood means uh, one should so one should not eat more or one should not like sleep more time this all like you keep it eating as a smart and uh, sleeping also you make it some particular time during that time only you do it okay so let us see what god says by using a tortoise you know teaches in this loka okay yada samharate chesham kurma angani ye sarvasha indriyan indriya tabhyas etasya pragna pratishthate Let's see what Krishna says. Okay. So, Kurma. Kurma means tortoise. Angani. Angani means limbs. Like Sarvasha all together. Indriyani senses. Indriyanacha and sense objects. Indriyan means senses. Indriyan objects means sense objects. What are the sense objects? Senses are you all know, right? Yes, sir. Eyes, nose. Eyes, nose. Yeah. Sense, sense objects means seeing. So sense objects means I for I sense object is what seeing beautiful things, right? and for no uh, sense object is smelling or uh, no fragrance things okay let us see because we don't have time then uh, we will just recite shlokas and we'll just explain so yada samharate cheham kurmo angani sarvasha indriyan indriyartha bhyas tasya pragna pratishthate so i will recite and all you can recite along with me i will tell once and you can all repeat okay so uh, we will repeat three times or uh, first uh, line by line and we will repeat all together okay yada samharata cheham yada samharata cheham yada samharata purmo angani va sarvasha purmo angani va sarvasha indriyanendriyartha vyas
ऊर्मो अंगानि सर्वशा ऊर्मो अंगानि अंगानि सर्वशा इंद्रियान इंद्रियातब्यस यदासंहरते चायं कुर्मो अंगानि वसर्वशः इंद्रियान इंद्रियाथे भ्यस तस्य प्रज्ञा प्रतिष्ठिता ओके नाइस सो लेट अस सी व्हाट द इज द मीनिंग ओके सो कैन एनीवन रीड सर कैन आई रीड सर यू नेम देम फ्रॉम सेंस ऑब्जेक्ट as the tortoise da draws its limbs within the cell okay it means okay we will discuss in the next slides it tells krishna here is a formally fixed in perfect consciousness okay he is telling eda samarthi che korma anga niva sarvasha indriyana tindriya abhyasya tasya pragna pratishthate okay so we'll see what like krishna tells here so we all know this one like uh, where they put in uh, entrance of temple many temples yes prabhu ji yes sir okay so what does it uh, mean why they keep that outside the temple can anyone tell okay so we will discuss in a further slides but i'll tell okay so whenever you go temple okay so you should withdraw outside things okay mentally and uh, you physically present there and mentally you all also should focus on darshan and uh, what how darshan and the lord because many people go from uh, like very long distance to tirupati they immediately close eyes the does that make sense no right because when you go enter the temple you have to open your all senses wide open wide open your senses and observe lord okay that's how it signifies the tortoise in front of temple so it tells that whenever you come to temple you wide open your senses and observe in the form of lord and see how lord is looking Huh? Okay, and here what they tell in the temple, and here you open nose, you smell the large flowers, tulsi. Okay, here katha from ears and eyes you can see. Okay, so touch the large lotus sweet and everything. Let us see in a further what it tells. Okay, so these are the five senses. So what are these five senses? What do you call these senses? Panchendra. इंपॉर्टेंट वन एज वी गैदर द नॉलेज थ्रो दिस because when you gather the knowledge through knowledge only you can acquire anything right otherwise it's not possible to get okay so we have to be very careful with our senses uh, where we are involving them and so accordingly they will take input our life because when you put uh, no garbage in garbage out because see i have seen uh, like you tell uh, uh, people so they'll tell i have seen so many movies i have seen so many these serials 
but when they talk, they talk about only movies, serials, because they are put inside only that. So uh, if you tell uh, some old people, they'll read newspaper. So if anything you ask, they'll tell news. Oh, that police, politician is like this. This politician is like this. Okay, today that suicide happened. That person met an accident because they put the garbage inside. But when you go to temple and you ask the pujari, what you'll tell? You'll tell about God. Okay, because he has put the good inside. Ego. We tell ego is good in, good, uh, good out, and bad uh, like uh, garbage in, garbage out. Good in, good out, right? So when you put garbage inside, it will come garbage out suddenly. Okay. So uh, as uh, like you know, Krishna is explaining this verse. Okay. Whenever unnecessary things uh, which are like detrimental for our life and a good character. So we should withdraw our senses from these things. Okay. Assume. So we can, uh, can anyone you know, like, uh, you can tell examples, what are the withdrawing senses, when to withdraw? Prabhuji, like yes, uh, sometimes taste, uh, like some people, when we, they get lot of, tasty food when they like they do overeating that is not good for body so they should withdraw the taste of tongue to avoid the health problem exactly yeah so what is not good see whenever you take so many mangoes what happens you feel that so tasty but after taking mangoes next day you see we'll go motion see there will be a lot of motion so you'll feel so weak because because of tongue burden okay so our like see habits our actions forms our habits right so uh, <clears throat> repeated actions whatever you does if you do good things like like uh, it is found out in the from scientist uh, uh, research whatever you do in uh, 51 days that activity will lead so uh, forever so if you do good things you know in 51 days continuously like i you say i'll chant daily this many times mantra so for next 51 days that will lead for a long time. But if you tell that, so next 51 days, I will do this bad thing continuously. Seem that the bad thing will carry on. Okay. So similarly, whatever activities we do it, we do it for consistency. So strictly you do it for uh, some particular time, two weeks. So see it, uh, it will become your natural practice. Okay. Something for uh, bad habits or as well as a uh, good habits. What's for your senses, how it works. Okay. So let us see, we are ending soon because it is already late time, three minutes. So it, I'll take next two to two, three minutes. That's how we will end. So habits are sticky because when you do, uh, so whatever things, okay. In, uh, so I've seen one person in school, actually, he, every day he comes and he something or others, like uh, takes from others bag. So I've seen one, uh, like uh, one day he took a pencil, another day he took pen, another day he stole like money only pocket. So later I have seen after some years, he became thief and police caught him and they beat him. But another time again, he caught him because that became a habit. Okay. But I have seen another person who was coming regularly, was like very strict in studying, very pakka. Like he becomes on time, he goes on time and he uh, in a scores also very good. He became now a okay, very good officer. He's a government officer now. Because whatever you make from childhood, you are coming from childhood, right? Now, if you practice very nicely, it will become your habit. Spiritual activities, now you chant daily or reading Bhagavad Gita, attending Bhagavad Gita classes. It will become very good habit, right? Okay. So, let us see, remove H. Uh, what will it be become? A bit. It is a, a bit. Okay. It will become just a bit. So, if it remain A, it will become bit. Okay. So, if you remove B, so uh, it will become heat. It will stick to us and it, so uh, they won't go away so easily. They will hunt one as a you know, ghost like kind of thing shown here. Okay, you can see how it is ending. You can see, right? <laughs> so similarly, our activities will lead, you know, hunting you. Because as you grow, you no know, young people, then you will have to practice nicely. And you are like, you have to satisfy your parents, the teachers, and you have to take so many responsibilities in future. So let us see what uh, do's and do nots. Certain we have uh, no do's and don't do's. 
and we should follow in our life for this okay so as we can become quickly regulated regulated as we explain so you have to be you no know, limited taking uh, food and uh, sleeping time should be regulated uh, six hour uh, maybe eight hour so you should see your comfort and uh, but it should be regulated and practice day by day not only one day i will get up and next day i will go and sleep right it is uh, the uh, consistency you should follow the time period for long time and it should become your habit okay so we should do studies in on like uh, on time because when you study uh, from beginning of the, your school uh, then uh, and at the end of exam you, you will be very free and you can just go and write exams but when you want to like just study next day exam is there today i will go and write but it won't help in your studies also correct no so everyone should practice it okay so let us see then we will so another example we here like uh, you can see prescription and prohibition okay so we go to doctors for what purpose curing our disease right so doctor tells you don't take this so now sugar patients is there they will tell oh you don't need to you don't you shouldn't take the sugar only but if he's uncontrolled what he will do he'll take and he will suffer a lot he has to again admit in hospital if he is like some uh, kids they will have the cold doctor tells his parents you shouldn't give the ice cream but the child will tell no i want ice cream i want ice cream what will happen after taking ice cream he again has to go to hospital and take injection injection is is good or bad bad sir okay it helps for good purpose but it pains your body correct na it helps for good purpose but it uh, pains because you are not listening your parents don't take ice cream you are taking then it will make you suffer okay anything you no know, cold cough something is that they tell they tell don't take oily items but you tell no i want oily item but what will happen you have to suffer again you have to admit in hospital and uh, bottle is they are put right that is a prescription as versus so instead of going to doctor prescription you can prohibit from yourself right you can control you can regulate it so <clears throat> we can see as a balance of our body mind so Oh, if soul is very good, you know, you can see it can it can balance the body. If body condition is very good, mind can be peaceful, because see, uh, soul how soul can be balanced, body and mind. Hmm? Prohibition avoiding the sinful habits. Sinful habits are like you no, know, many things are there. Sinful activities. You shouldn't uh, no drink alcohol. You shouldn't smoke. Oh. So when they grow on uh, some years, they will start smoking. I my tensions are there. That is there. This is there. I want to smoke. What smoking by smoking, your body will be spoiled. After body spoils, what will happen? You will get cancer. After cancer, you have to suffer. Mind will trouble you a lot. But prescription. What is prescription? So prescription is the meditation. Meditation of the chanting of the uh, like names of God. So one should chant daily. Hari Krishna Mahamantra. You see the changes in your life. I am not telling it is. It is even found out from the scriptures actually. So you can see how chanting helps one person to control and regulate his life. Right. So excuse me. Uh, we should uh, follow the prescription given by in Bhagavad Gita. Krishna tells regulate yourself with ahara, vihara, sha. So you eat limitedly, sleep limitedly, and practice yoga. Krishna is telling, right? We have seen that sloka. So how one should be regulated by seeing the tortoise? Tortoise how withdrawing and what time is the withdrawing senses? Okay. Uh, so. Because if one does, he will start doing wrong things. It will become long time. Okay. So we have magic of sound. You see, so snake will be you know going here and there, but when they uh, play that uh, flute kind of thing, no. So how snake will be caught? So in a forest also snakes are caught by this only. Okay. So so how the uh, snakes are controlled? Can anyone tell? Okay, because of the sound, they get attached. Uh, because to the sound. see, it is attached to sound. Because ear is attached to sound. Okay. Similarly, whatever our senses are there, if you are attached or something, like uh, our senses are like poisonous as they get carried away by the distraction and the uh, ads 
okay poison because to uh, our life by form for forming the bad habits uh, but when we chant the senses uh, will come under our control now the snake is poisonous but they controlled by the sound vibration right Fluid. Similarly, we can control our senses by sound vibration of Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. So if we chant Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. So it can, all senses can be controlled very easily. So, so one can chant Hare Krishna Maha Mantra and control your senses and uh, do good things in your life. Okay. So why we say always like chant chant daily because we can control our senses and we can be happy in our life okay so we'll be having the uh like the squeeze okay we will send the link okay so we'll be given situations and choose we should open our senses or withdraw senses okay so we'll see some examples so visiting wonderful temples of the lord so we should open or withdraw Open. Open. Yeah, watching unnecessary movies in mobile. Yeah. Open. Yeah. See, similarly, we will send the okay activity, and uh, you can all do okay, and uh, yes, send that. Uh, okay, sir. Okay, you all now got to know because I'm we already getting late. And uh, will you send that link? You can all uh, fill that quiz, okay? So we'll chant one time and we will close it because it's already late, 10 minutes late I took, okay? Okay, sir. Okay. Jai Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Advaita Gadadara Sri Vasadi Gauravakta Vrinda so you all can send Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Okay, thank you all for joining this. Okay. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, sir. Hare Krishna. Thank you, Hare Krishna. Thank you, sir. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna.